Coach, you said yesterday in the press conference that you wanted to uh, pick up the pace in the game, play your own pace, and you did that really early on, and then later you kind of slowed it down. So at what point do you feel comfortable slowing down that pace, you know, just running the clock a little bit? Time and, time and score. One of, my, one of my friends, one of my good friends in the coaching business, in the coaching business, he has this, he has this weird formula. I was like, this doesn't work. You know, time and score. You can see how many possessions left in the game. It actually does work. So, uh, so MC, it works. Um, so we just shrunk the game, and when we knew the game was over, we knew that if we didn't turn the ball over, um, that you know there was no chance they had enough possessions to come back and win the game. So we just kind of slowed it down to. To make sure that we can, you know, get get the game home and not get too sloppy down the stretch. You said yesterday that you've never looked ahead in your career because you know just frankly you haven't been with a team that I guess has been good enough. You know, is do you have that mindset though that this year this is a little bit different, even though you're not looking ahead. You know, it just seems like you guys are. No, not not really, not at all. I don't think that many coaches do. That. I don't I don't know many coaches this. That's successful when it, when it past the game that that they're playing in. For us, you know, it's just about being effective in the game and in, in, in that in that moment. But obviously, you know, it's time to it's time to look ahead now, right? It's it's, it's that time, and, and and we understand what the what the urgency was of winning this game and, and making sure that we could advance. Okay, coach, you uh, outscored them by twelve in both the second and fourth quarters. Seems to be a, a trend throughout the entire season. Are there any specific? Were there any specific adjustments you made today? What are you telling the team uh, in between those breaks that lead to those uh, offensive outbreaks? No, I mean it, it was it was one of the, one of those deals where I think that as you as you start to get the get the flow of the game, you know things things just happen and and, and the game turns. And the third quarter, we, we we really gave them a ton of threes. They got a lot of threes in that third quarter. They were they were just getting getting good, good looks. I think that was a, that was that's the reason why they scored so many points in the third quarter. Um, yeah, they made four threes in that quarter. I mean, they were they were just wide open looks. So we had to make some adjustments to kind of you know get there and get our heels up on that line and, and make them put the ball on the floor a little bit. So the third quarter was just about us just just not guarding three point line well. Second round, yeah, uh, Stu Kane of Associated Press, coach. Uh, speaking of looking ahead, uh, how will you prepare differently for your next opponent, South Dakota? And they're really good. I mean, we. We we know they're really good. It's it's, it's funny going into this to this season. I, I told somebody even a story. I, I watched them play a couple of times last year, and they um and they run this they run this man offense. It's it's fantastic. It really is. And we actually put the man offense in, and we started running it. So um, um, yeah, so we run their man offense, and I'm glad that we ain't got to guard their man offense because we were playing zone. So we'll be okay with not guarding that set. It's a really good set. But they're just a very good team. They're a world coach team. And they do a fantastic job of playing to their strength, which is, you know, if you help, they're going to kick it out and shoot the three. So we got to be very disciplined. We got to stay home. We got we, we to gotta, we gotta make them make plays off the bounce and not just give them catch and shoot opportunities in that game. They're, they're, they're a very, very good team. And, and it's going to be a great game. And, and that's why you're in this tournament and they're play a great team. So, so we're excited for, for the challenge and the opportunity. Speaking of being happy for him, Emily comes in in the second, boom, 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 uh, rebound, steal, assist, bucket, just really gets the spark going. You've talked about how she can do virtually anything to help you guys. Is that a minute and a half sort of a, a microcosm of what you expect from her and sort of the instant energy she can bring off the bench? Yeah, absolutely it is. You know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing of just focusing. You know, Emily just got to stay focused into, into what we do and, and what's important. And, you know, I, I think I remember having the same conversation about Alexis Peterson her freshman year, and everybody thought I was crazy, and then everybody's watching her get drafted, and you know, she's gonna be Emily's gonna be the same. You know, you have to you have to buckle down and, and be a college athlete, be a college student athlete, and she's done that. She's she's been remarkable over the last you know three four weeks, so I'm just really happy for her, and really happy to have her back. Brandon. Brandon Williams, Mills Magician. Game, even when you had a big lead, you were giving those You're Mills Magician? Yes, I am. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> now game, I know who's doing this, huh? Yes, sir. My late, man. Late in the game, you uh, were giving those. Oh, man. Ladder you up. <laughs> <laughs> you were giving those coaching moments, uh, even though you had a big lead. How is it important to clean up those little details if you guys hope to continue to advance? Well, it's, it's just about, you know, 
understanding what our what our skin is. We we were helping way too much off dribble penetration, and and they did, they did a very good job of attacking gaps and raising up out of the corner. And and we weren't staying home. We were we were started digging in a little bit, and and now giving them one more passes, and we can't give them that. They are way too good a team. They give them opportunity. So that's the main thing we got to clean up going into. Monday, Monday, they'll throw the ball to the high post and they'll back you down and they'll and they'll ISO you. you know, they ISO, we gotta go put a nose on the nose on the perimeter and say you gotta play one on one. That's what we have to do when they win that basketball game. So we just gotta play a really disciplined game on defensive end. Second row over here. Uh, Rashad shows sports talk on the backhand off his question. What's gonna be the, the defensive strategy from this game to the upcoming game? It's just, it's just about being very, very disciplined in our scheme. We can't. We can't help off the perimeter, especially on strong side drives, and we got to be very, very conscious of them. You know, diving in and out of the high post. You know, they, they are, they, they are offense against the zone is, is, is just, just a lot of, a lot of motion. They dive into that high post and try to get you to collapse, so you can kick out. They just a very good basketball team, very, very well coached. They got players, man, and I man, we play well in their system. It, it's, it's going to be a fantastic college basketball game, and it's going to be a very honor, privilege, man. And be a, be a part of it. If you ain't watched it, you should watch it. It's, it's going to be a really good game because they're a good team. Dakota? With, were you with your team's uh, transition play today? Well, we were able to get out in the second half and run. <laughs> I knew we would, we would be sluggish coming into this game, and you, and you kind of rolled the dice. You know, we haven't played in two weeks, and, and to be honest, we haven't played in two weeks. We, we have not had any contact. We have not scrimmaged at all in two weeks. I, I hear all these coaches talking about how hard they're going <laughs> these two, I'm like, we can't. So, I, I mean, hats off to them with, with all that energy. They can go hard for two weeks. We, we can't do it. And um, so we took two weeks off, I mean, from, from from contact. We got a lot of player development stuff in. Ryan and Ryan Kabilis, our, um, our strength and conditioning coach, and Karen McKinney, our athletic trainer, they were the MVPs of these two weeks. They just got them healthy and kept their bodies moving, and, and we just tried to just do enough enough game prep and film stuff to be able to come in the game and be effective, and we did that. You guys shot well on the three, but you didn't take as many as I guess you guys are used to. Was inside play a little bit more of an emphasis in this game? No, we ain't shooting threes no more, man. We're changing all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we had an opportunity. You know, what, what what really happens, and I think that, you know, and it's not shooting at you, it's really not. I think a lot of people say, you guys are shooting a lot of threes. Well, because people now are running us off the three-point line. They're saying, you're going to shoot 40 threes. We're not going to let you do that. So, you know, thank, thank God we're good enough to put the ball on the floor and attack the rim and now score in the paint. Because if we couldn't put the ball on the floor, then we'd really, you know, be in trouble. But, but, but we're just not just a three-point shooting team. And that's what's been, been really good about this second half of the season. You know, we're winning games by now attacking the rim and playing in the paint. So, so, so you know, people are really just trying to take their – they're really just doing a good job of closing out and taking them away. But, you know, but the ones that we get and we're making them, I think that our kids are now happy that they're opening and now they're knocking them down because they're not as open as they were back in uh, November, December.